Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. My big belly and I welcome you. Look how big my belly is getting. This is the first video that I'm making in the second trimester. All the other videos that I posted before were filmed in the first trimester. Today I am officially 21 weeks. I can't believe it. I'm like over the halfway mark, which means that there's only 19 weeks to go and time is flying. I'm so excited. And I wanted to film this video because the I'm still out of breath. <sighs> I wanted to make this video because the last one I posted was all about how I got pregnant on the first try. If you haven't watched that video, go click on it right now or you can watch it after this one. So this is about everything that happened after testing positive. And I'm only going to include the first symptoms like in the during the first trimester. I haven't been having like crazy symptoms in the second trimester thank the lord i've been this has been an amazing pregnancy and i'm very grateful for it i'm drinking a pumpkin spice latte that i made at home it's decaf you can technically have caffeine in pregnancy but i'd rather not so let's jump into this video so if you watch my last video you know that i used the pre-mom app to track ovulation and that's a big part of why i was able to time it perfectly so I continue using the same app to write down all my symptoms. It has a calendar and you can type in all your symptoms. So based on the app and all the ovulation tests I took, my ovulation day was most likely day 21 of my cycle. So my cycles are very long, uh, usually around 33, 34, even 35 days, when like a regular cycle would be 28 days. Mine is usually longer. I didn't want to consider everything a symptom because I didn't want to convince myself that I was pregnant. So on May 1st, I wrote down that I had cramps and they were mild. But then again, a lot of pregnancy symptoms are very similar to PMS symptoms. So you don't know if you're about to get your period or if you're actually pregnant. All right, so on May 2nd, which is the next day, I wrote, and this might be TMI, so if you're one of my friends or family members that are watching this video and you're not going through this pregnancy journey or you're not trying to get pregnant, sorry not sorry. I hope this helps people that are actually trying to get pregnant and it might be a sign for you that you probably are. Um, but on May 2nd, which is the next day, I wrote that I had discharge that was similar to egg white and that usually happens um, during ovulation. So if you know and you know your discharge during ovulation It was like this, but I already knew that I had ovulated so that had never happened to me before and I was like Hmm, like that is something different, but I still didn't want to get excited, you know And then the one thing that was very weird that I think This was definitely the moment where like it happened. <laughs> I mean at least that's what I think I wrote here that I had left ovary pain in the middle of the night. It really, like, it woke me up. I was sleeping and I felt like somebody stabbed me in my left ovary. And I was like, oh my god, I sat on the bed and I was like, what's happening? I think that that, has that, that had something to do with implantation because I felt it. I woke up in the middle of the night and I felt it. If you're a doctor out there and you're be and maybe you tell me like ah that's not really how it happens i don't know but at least that's what i think happened because i felt that and then during that day i put that i had light stabbing during the day it was like a stabbing in my ovary especially my left one and i wrote heavy uterus feeling and brain fog so yeah my, my uterus felt heavy and brain fog was definitely something that I had an experience to that degree except for when I had COVID so of course I started to think wait a minute what if I have COVID because it's like I couldn't think I would start a sentence and then be like wait did I already say that or what was I gonna say and it was very weird to the point that I told my husband am I having a seizure or like am I having a stroke or something I can't form my sentences and I it was kind of scary but now I know that that's actually a pregnancy symptom <laughs> brain fog and it's not as bad now but pregnancy brain is a thing and you become very forgetful um so yeah that happened and on May 3rd which is 7 DPO I think I'm actually going to explain it like that like 6 DPO so everything I said before was 6 DPO this is 7 DPO 
so seven days post ovulation i had a backache so my back was hurting especially my lower back um i had sore breasts but then again that always happens before a period so like the fact that my boobs were sore i was like that was nothing new but i wrote it down just in case bloating and i put severe bloating my belly was like especially my lower abdomen was super bloated and i was like what is happening a little bit bloated usually happens before a period but it was like severe bloating that's what i wrote here i also wrote appetite increased so i was more hungry than usual i wrote um that i had a dull headache i usually don't get headaches so that's something different for me and i also wrote cried so much watching our wedding video so we got married last year and we had our wedding in december and our wedding video took months to be ready like our professional video so when we received it during around this time i cried there's there's like one thing is tearing up but another thing is like i was sobbing watching our wedding video and i'm like oh my god like why do i feel so hormonal like i know that it's something sentimental and everything but i was like sobbing watching this video so i'm like okay i was a little more emotional than usual so then on 8 dpo and we're getting closer to the time where i tested <laughs> on 8 dpo i still wrote that i still had a headache i wrote dizziness i felt kind of dizzy which is weird and then this day i had nausea it was mild nausea it wasn't like i was throwing up or anything but i felt nauseous for some reason but I was hungry. I wrote nauseous, but I also wrote appetite increase. And I also wrote bitter taste in mouth when I woke up. So I woke up and when I went to brush my teeth, it's like my mouth just tasted like, and a lot of people say this in their videos, like metal or something. Like it was just very bitter. And that was something that I've never experienced before. By this point, I was like, 60% <laughs> sure that I was pregnant, but I'm like, I, I, I jumped into this process with the mentality of like, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I don't want to get overly excited if I'm not sure. So I was just trying not to think too much about it, but that was weird. And I also wrote sore nipples. So whenever I'm about to get my period, usually my breasts hurt, but in this case, it was my nipples that were really, really sore. And that's also something like, that's a very common pregnancy symptom. And then on 9 DPO was when I tested. Technically it was midnight, so it was like that night of 8 DPO, but it was officially 9 DPO. That's when I tested and I, I wrote here that I had a positive test. And that day I had dizziness, nausea, sweaty armpits, <laughs> this is TMI, but I was so sweaty to a point that it was not normal. Like all my shirts had that like, sweat stain and i'm like oh my god what's happening but that's your hormones you know changing and doing all that i also wrote here that i had to eat frequently or i would get queasy D dizziness whenever i get up and want to eat everything i wrote here food tastes so good i remember i ordered a veggie burger and sweet potato fries because i really wanted that that day and it just tasted like i was starving for a month and this is the first meal i ate like it was so good that changed a little bit after <laughs> like after that after the first few weeks i really didn't want to eat that much but yeah in the beginning i was really hungry and if i didn't eat i felt like i was gonna faint so then on 10 dpo something interesting happened and is that i had a little bit of spotting and when i say spotting i'm not i don't mean blood it was just like a tiny tiny bit of pink spotting when i wiped and i'm pretty sure that that was part of implantation bleeding not everybody gets implantation bleeding i know a lot of women look for that sign to make sure that the egg the fertilized egg implanted in the uterus so i wasn't waiting for that because i know that it doesn't happen for everybody but i had like a tiny tiny bit of pink spotting and that was the only day that that happened so i'm pretty sure that that has something to do with the the cramp that i felt in my ovary and then a few days later it was like a little bit of blood from that moment on 11 dpo i wrote sleepiness like i was so sleepy and tired 
and fatigued. So on 12 DPO, I wrote that my mouth was producing so much saliva, which is kind of nasty, but yeah, that's also a very common pregnancy symptom that I've heard before from different videos. Just so you know, every day I kept writing dizziness. So the dizziness wasn't going away. It wasn't, it wasn't like I was super dizzy, but it was kind of being lightheaded. Like if you get up too fast and you feel kind of faint, that's how I was feeling. On 13 DPO, I wrote that I had acid reflux. I wrote here, threw up in my mouth with no warning, which is nasty. I don't, I don't consider this throwing up. It was just like, I guess, heartburn during that day, which I haven't had in the second trimester, which is awesome. And I also wrote, I woke up multiple times with a racing heart. So when you're pregnant, you're producing way more blood than usual, and also the hormones don't help. And your heart races, and that's like, or beats faster than normal. I, I'm, I'm not sure that everybody experiences a racing heart, but my heart was definitely beating faster than normal, and it still is. On 14 DPO, I didn't write anything, and then on 15 DPO, I wrote headache, so my head was still hurting a little bit. It was a mild headache. And I also wrote that I woke up really early and then napped all afternoon. Left ovary is achy and I had a like a weird taste in my mouth. I wrote water tastes sweet. I even googled it and other women said that water tastes kind of nasty for them in the first few weeks of pregnancy. So, I mean, I'm glad that didn't last too long. But then on uh, 16 DPO, I wrote that I was gagging and that... <laughs> I wasn't throwing up, thank god, I only threw up once in the first trimester or like in the whole entire pregnancy so far but I started gagging on 16 DPO whenever I would brush my teeth I just couldn't, like it was, I had to brush my teeth obviously but every time I would do it I would gag I would gag even um, when my husband opened the trash can like we have an apartment that has an open concept so the kitchen is right there and the trash can it's in the kitchen and whenever he would open it i wanted to cry i did cry actually one time i was like please do not open the trash can again and he would take the trash constantly like he would take the trash out constantly but still like i could smell everything i don't know if i wrote that here i should have because yeah i don't think i wrote it here but that is a symptom that i remember vividly because it made me gag so many times I could smell everything. If I was in the living room, I could smell a piece of fruit that was in the kitchen. Like, it was crazy. And that made me gag several times. But I was grateful that I wasn't throwing up everywhere. I hear a lot of, of, a lot of pregnant women that throw up so much during the first trimester. So I'm glad that that wasn't me. I didn't write more for a while until June 9th, which was the following month. So a month after testing positive it was the only day that i threw up in the whole entire pregnancy and it was because i was feeling so useless and i know that this was just in my head because obviously i'm, I'm making a baby i'm not useless but because i felt so tired sleepy lightheaded and all of that i was just on the couch watching tv i watched whole seasons of shows on netflix and i just I wasn't doing much around the house like even dishes I could not do dishes without gagging so thankfully my husband is amazing and he took over the dishes in the first trimester he still does sometimes but there was one day that I was like you know what I'm gonna get off this couch I don't want to be sitting all the time and I'm gonna go clean the kitchen because it's so messy so I started I did dishes I cleaned like I wiped all the counters I was organizing everything and I went too far, like I did way too much and immediately I felt like I was gonna throw up right there and then, like it was with no warning. So I ran to the bathroom and I threw up and it was horrible. It wasn't that bad, but like nobody likes to throw up. And that was the only day that happened. After that, I learned to listen to my body and that it's okay if you don't feel well, it's okay to just be on the couch. It's okay to just watch TV. That is, of course, you know, if you don't have to go and work every day. Those were all my symptoms for the first trimester. I've had other symptoms now that I'm in my second trimester, but they haven't been severe. I really can't complain. The second trimester is what people call the honeymoon phase or the honeymoon trimester because it's like it gives you a break between the first trimester symptoms and the third trimester symptoms when you're huge and about to give birth. 
so yeah everything has been great i really hope this video was helpful i really owe this to you guys i know that i'm making a lot of videos that are all about pregnancy but that's because that's what's going on in my life right now honestly if i were to vlog i'm not doing much except for being at home going to doctor's appointments but the doctor's appointments that i go to now are super quick they just take my blood pressure wet my weight and we talk for like two minutes and they're like okay see you next month but yeah guys i hope this video was helpful if you think you might be pregnant or if you're trying to get pregnant i used to watch so many of these videos even before trying to conceive because i always thought i was pregnant and i was like oh my god i have this symptom and usually it was just pms but it could be that you're pregnant if you like this video please click the like button because it does help it tells the algorithm that you enjoyed this video and it shows it to other people as well and please subscribe because i am trying to get to a thousand subscribers so i can get monetized being honest with you guys i'm almost there when it comes to hours you have to have a certain amount of hours to get monetized but i need to get to a thousand subscribers and i know you guys can help me and i will see you in the next video say bye baby <laughs> bye guys